Cave Realtors. Are you using KV Core's built-in drip campaigns to nurture your leads? This is a great way to stay top of mind. Hi, I'm Jackie Durbin. I'm a real estate agent out in Arizona, and I love helping other real estate agents learn new and effective ways to use their KV Core to increase their production and their business. Guys, let's talk drip campaigns. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Does it make you want to pull your hair out? Would you rather go to the dentist and literally have your teeth pulled out than building a campaign? Then this is a YouTube video that you are not going to want to miss. So what we're going to talk about in this video is ways that you can use and customize the existing campaigns that are already in KB Core. So let's go ahead and jump in. All right, when you get into your KB Core, obviously you're going to be in your dashboard, which is one of my favorite places to be. To find your campaigns, you're going to go to marketing. Then you're going to go to smart campaigns. Once here, you're going to see your campaigns, ones that you have already created. You're also going to see your KB Core library as well as templates. Now, I am currently in another person's KB Core, which is totally fine because I help all of our agents um, who are with us at um, EXP Realty and on the D team um, with their KB Core. So where do you find those default ones? Well, they're going to be in your KB Core library. Now, when you go to your KB Core library and you're in there, you're going to notice all kinds of things. First things first, who's, what is the campaign name? One of the things that I like to look at is who is it designed for? I can actually click this button and sort for just buyers. This is going to put it in ABC order. Now, when I look at this one, here's a default client campaign. Someone may say, oh, wow, 29 tasks. Guess what? They're all tasks, meaning that it's telling you to stay in front of them. This would be a great campaign if you need someone to remind you to call that client. Okay. However, let's look down here. Here's another new lead buyer. Now there's 43 different touches in this campaign and they include task. So telling you to reach out to them, telling you to do something, a connect call, which is when your mobile KV Core app will actually ring and it'll say, this is KV Core. We're calling to connect you with, and then it tells you the lead's name. If you would like to continue this call, press one. If you would like to create a task in your KV Core to call them later, Press two. I love connect calls. The other thing is going to be email, text, and then regular calls. Okay. So those would be call reminders. Guys, let's go ahead and check this one out. So we are going to add this to your library. And then we're going to go ahead and click on the blue. So that way we can view it. Now you're going to notice at the top who it's for and when it is triggered. All of this can be changed by clicking clone the campaign. When you clone the campaign, it's going to start from scratch. So how do you want to change this? I am not a fan of triggers like this. I like triggers that are hashtags. And the reason why is because it's easier for me to manipulate. So I can go ahead and put in whatever hashtag. Remember, no hashtag symbol. So maybe I put new buyer. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit next. These are for buyers. I'm going to give it a name. Notice the campaign name has changed because I'm cloning it and I am making changes to it. So I'm just going to say my new buyer nurture campaign. All right. I can change the description if I would like to. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Then I'm going to finish. And now here is my newly cloned campaign. Now, when I go in here, I can edit each and every one of these items. So this is a task. Okay, to send them a text. All right, then here is a call and leave a voicemail. Here's the immediate thing that goes out on minute seven. Let's see what it looks like. Right here, it says, hi, thanks for requesting property information on our site. Just curious, are you actively searching for a property or just browsing for right now? That's super important. Here's the thing you need to keep in mind when you're building any campaign. This is my tip, write it down, get your pen, get your pencil. You ready? You have to have a hook. You have to hear what they need, okay? So if this is someone who's recently got onto my site, I need to think as someone who is searching for a home. And that's why this question is very appropriate. Are you actively searching or are you just browsing for right now? Okay, you always wanna end each of your touches inside of a campaign with a question because what it does is it causes the conversation to continue to go on. Now, let's say that I wanted to take this out or I wanted to make any changes. The template name is going to go blank. And the reason why is because you have just changed this type of template. So now I need to name it. I can name it whatever I want. Okay. Then I'm going to hit save. 
And now it has saved the change to that text message. Now let's go ahead and check out an email. The email is going to be the exact same thing. Okay. So, Hey, um, if it's helpful, um, I'd be more than willing to walk through a couple of properties with you. I can also connect you to a recommended lender um, who can sh answer mortgage questions. Let me know. No pressure either way. Okay. Maybe you want to change it though. Same thing. You can go in here and you can take out anything that you want and add whatever you want. But keep in mind that your template name is going to change. Maybe you do not want the email to look like this. Maybe you want it to look more branded and look like a newsletter. You can click new advanced template. And now you can create a newsletter type email. If you're familiar with Flowdesk, you don't need Flowdesk anymore. You have it for free on your KV Core. So you'll be able to add your buttons. You'll be able to do anything that you want. You can add images and you can make changes as you want. You would hit save template. And then now these changes are also in yours, but you just have to name the template and hit save. Now, campaigns do not have to be as challenging and as hard as possibly you might feel right now. I hope this was helpful. Make sure you hit subscribe and check out me on Instagram at Jackie Durbin AZ. Bye guys.